Okay, so we have it and talk about some other group of drugs again. So the one we'll be starting with is what? Um, Metyrapone. Metyrapone. Alright, so we get to talk about the mechanism of action of this drug. Pharmacokinetics. Okay, then um, I think the clinical use. Clinical use of the drug, okay? So, so that this metyrapone is mostly marketed under the name metopirone. Okay, so you can see metopirone here. All right, metopirone. So it's a steroidogenesis inhibitor, which is primarily found or used, sorry, primary use in the diagnosis of what adrenal insufficiency. All right, and it's also used occasionally in the treatment of what Cushing's syndrome. Okay, so for the mechanism of action, um, it's actually what an 11 hydroxylase inhibitor. So we said that meta, um, metyrapone inhibits with the enzyme known as what 11 beta hydroxylase in the adrenal cortex, and um, the enzyme is actually responsible for converting 11 deoxycortisol to cortisol. So that's actually what emphasizes on its application in treating Cushing syndrome because it's basically stop the production of much more cortisol, okay? So this, it will lead to a decrease in cortisol production. The feedback mechanism. So reduction in cortisol levels results into what? An increase in what? Adrenocorticotropic hormone production by the pituitary gland due to the removal of the cortisol inhibitory feedback on adrenocorticotropic what? hormone secretion. So for pharmacokinetics, for absorption, we said that what? This metyrapone is what? Admitted orally and is well absorbed in the gastrointestinal tract. For metabolism, we said that what? It is metabolized by the liver enzyme that is the cytochrome P450 enzymes. Elimination, the drug is eliminated primarily in urine. Okay, and the elimination half life is about 1.9 plus or minus 0.7 hours. Okay, the protein binding it is not significantly binding to protein. For clinical uses, it can be used for the diagnosis of adrenal insufficiency. So um, it is used in what metyrapone test to diagnose adrenal insufficiency by measuring the amount of what adrenocorticotrophic hormone and 11 deoxycortisol levels okay there is use in treating cushing syndrome all right where it is actually was stopping the production of what cortisol therefore side effects to that common side effects is what nausea headaches dizziness fatigue serious side effects include potential for hair sootism that's what excessive hair growth in women due to increased androgen precursors okay the administration is ab about what 30 milligrams per kilogram. Okay, is administered at midnight. Okay, with plasma cortisol and 11 deoxy cortisol measured the next morning. Okay, so that's it for the pharmacology of what this metyrapone.